in the late 70s. Can you imagine how novel mango and green tea and lychee would be? People were like, what is a green tea? You're so weird. What is green tea? But my father was very confident that people would think that it, the flavors were delicious and that it would connect cultures. And I think he was really before his time. I'm actually a third generation New Yorker. My concept of being Chinese, and even my childhood, there was not as much Chinese people as there are today. Much more um, rough, I feel. As time went on, then um, it started to be more like race on race crime. When you see the immigration pattern, more Chinese moving in. They were really out to kill my family because we were maybe the only people who stood up to the gang. When people think, oh, Christina does ice cream, she's just happy all day, she like lives there in that, behind the ice cream shop and it's so feminine and she doesn't have issues that she deals with being an Asian woman. But actually there are a lot of issues that you deal with as a business owner being an Asian woman. The same issues that Asian women would deal with if they were in corporate America or they're Asian women in the kitchen or it could not even be a woman thing, it could be a being an Asian thing. But then it's compounded by being a woman as well. So many times behind the counter, the people ask me where I learned to speak English. And I think that people had a false understanding of what Chinatown is like. Chinatown is really the space that brings you together. 